first draw the banana. This the lap over here, maybe the right will become here. Draw the envelope of the whole banana. It look like about like this, close to the oval. After you're happy with this, and you just come in here to divide some triangle. And a couple triangles. And a little small triangle. And divide little shape out here. It will look like banana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's finish the drawing. And I think this is a little bit bigger. And this part of the skin cover possibly uh, the inside banana. And then make a turn. Make a turn over here. And catch the shadow over here. And a little bit connecting to that. Yeah, as it does move a little bit this side. Right, to catch the shadow on this uh, skin. Now we use the eraser to just softly erase the part that you don't want to keep in the painting. Our plan is to do the skin first. And after the skin, we're gonna do the interior of the banana. Pick up the yellow color, have a little blue colors. I have some blue color right here. So I'm gonna start with the green colors, which is mixed with yellow and the blue. Starting over here. And then what we talk about, we're gonna use wet in wet. And the, this color is wet, and I'm going to adding yellow colors into here, similar to our color palette exercise. I need more colors because I want the color a little bit bigger. Right, going up, and keep moving up. And now when we come here, it have a little bit darker color, darker tone, we're gonna mix with the red and uh, a little red as the mixture. Let's see, here we go. I'm gonna mix it and continuous. Move that color over. But when it turn to the front, it have back to the yellow. So I'm gonna have this color turning but this has to have a little bit more yellow. I add more yellow back to the mixture. Here. Okay. But on this side, I'm gonna put the yellow color here first. And I'm gonna have to turn it, turn it back to the green colors. Okay. Now I'm gonna come pick up some blue colors, right? I'm gonna start mixing it back to the green color at the end. And continue. Okay. And turn it a little more yellow at the end over here. Just come back a little yellow. So when you move the color from one color to the other color, pay attention to how the color change. Now the second thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start working in outside and, and the inside, working in the inside here. And the inside here, it has some texture, but we cannot paint the color and the texture at the same time. We're gonna add the, add the dry texture after you dry. Okay, now is uh, look at the colors close to this color. We just have red, blue, and yellow all to it. A little bit more yellow. The 
it's pretty light color. And also here, we use the same color for now. And on this side, we're gonna start using a little darker version of the same colors. And a little bit more blue, a little bit more red. If it doesn't have the darker side, it's not gonna show the object actually turning. You have to have the light side and the dark side. And it has some little dark color here, but we're gonna do that later, okay? All right, now this side already drive. Now we're gonna go back to that side, and this is have a little darker tone transitions to, uh, to the lighter color at the top. So let's see, let's get a little more yellow and into this color, a little bit yellow, because we only use the, the color system that only has three colors, so pretty easy uh, that you know you're gonna get help from the other two colors. Okay, now we use the, the clean brush it's just to lead the color to be a little lighter. Now we suggest that it's just turning. And over here, we also want to just use the clean brush just to brush over because the brush hair is really soft. That's why when you brush over, it actually would help the color blend into each other. Okay, we take care of the, the other side. And this already ready. So what we're gonna do, we're going to use this shadow color, which is a little bit more blue, and actually some red colors. Okay. We get help from the other two colors. Let's see. We're putting the shadow in here, into this space. If there is too much, that you can dry a brush and tap the color off. Blot the excess color away. This is good. What we're gonna do next, I think over here has a little darker turning to the other side. So we're gonna have some darker color which is a lot more blue and maybe add a little more red color. Okay, that's good. So we're gonna have this color turning a little darker transition at the edge over here. Okay, that's good. And then actually a little dividing line between this very thin line here. So we probably don't want to do anything here yet. It's still wet. Uh, so we're gonna come back to do something inside here. Uh, when we finish one side, mm -hmm. leave, give it a little space, let it dry, and then go to the other part and come back later, okay? So and also, you'll be able to allow yourself to give a little time to determine what you're gonna do, giving the time that after the color settle, is see how it's, how it's come out before you make the next decisions. Okay, over here, so let's see. A little more red into this colors. Of course, some more yellow. Uh, that is a good color. Close to look like a little more greenish. Let's take a look. And here you go. Yeah, exactly look like that colors. And on the edge over here, also have this color. But on the outside here, it's actually uh, have the direct light from, from the light source. So the color actually look lighter. So over here on this side, I also going to put in a similar color, but have a little brighter color, a little bit more yellow coming here. A little bit more yellow. 
like that. Uh huh, and then we're also gonna apply the same color here, but giving that color still wet. You don't want to touch into it, otherwise the color would merge together. So I'm gonna use this color and moving, make it look like skin. And the longer that it display uh, on the table, it would the skin will look darker. So the color probably not so dark. the skin come over here and maybe the time for this part we're going to try it a little bit a little brown colors now is the good time to do this side of the skin and very much the same color so it's starting over here Coming in, have a little opening in here. Okay. And maybe close to the left here should be a little darker. So just add a little bit more color, a little bit blue and a little bit yellow. I think this is good color. Let's make it a little darker. Like that and have a, a bit of texture on the side, like this. Okay, what we're gonna do next? And I think right now, we should start working into the Catch the Shadow. And Catch the Shadow, kind of similar color, but if from the left to the right, when they're moving, the color also change because the light hitting the skin of the banana and reflect the colors, uh, the skin colors to the into the catch the shadow. So let's see. So what we're gonna do is mostly it's a neutral colors, but it has a little bit more yellow, whereas a little bit more red, a little bit more blue, but mostly it is a uh, neutral colors. So I'm putting these two colors, like dark purple colors. Let's get a little yellow color in here that's probably a little more blue and a little bit more yellow then okay that close to the color we look for let's start from this side okay start it right here here we go one piece and then we're going to starting we're going to start over here at the edge over here has a little bit more green colors that we're gonna come back to fix it. So we're gonna just move in in here, keep going. Okay, have it in here. We leave a little gap because that is a part of the skin but is in the light. And then we're gonna to come to this side. All right, okay. It looks like I have a little bit more yellow, so I'm gonna get a little bit yellow and brown colors and get in here, okay. And then get a little bit more blue in the mixture and star continue with that in the mixture so it's a it still look neutral but it have a a bit of or uh, one of the three primary colors uh more than the others right that's how you see the color look a little bit different and maybe now have a little bit more red at the end it's a little bit darker so i'm going to come in here that's a little, a little darker Good. Now we come back to so this side, also a darker tone. A 
It looks like we can have a little more blue. There we go. Like this. And let's see, inside here, it looks a little bit darker. So I'm gonna have a little darker color, a little bit more red. Okay, here we go. And have a little darker color in here, good. On this side, have a little bit more green. So what I'm gonna do, gonna add a little yellow color to that. Just add a little yellow color and just wash it and have this color come in here. And a little yellow color, a little blue color, very slightly little blue colors, so you can add into here. Because underneath, yes, yeah, you see over there, has a little bit more green color uh, at the bottom. Actually, the color bounces down. Next, we have to take care of two things. One is taking care of the dark color and the texture on the skin, and the other is we need to create some textures, otherwise it'll look like plastic. Let's take care of the, the one that's easier, which is the dark color at the end. Okay. Okay, a little more blue. So a little darker. Okay, more red. Come here. And on this side, darker color, and have a little darker color here, like that. And a little darker color on the side. Okay. And then the next thing we're gonna do, we are going to add some scratch texture on the skin. Just tap on it. Okay, tap on it. And it maybe look a little bit too sharp. In that case, just use a clean brush and just soften it. Okay? Not every spot is the same intensity. Uh, same darkness. Tap on that. Okay. Now, the last thing is the texture. Mm. Right? So what's the texture color? It's similar to this color. I think similar to this color. Like a light brown color. What we're gonna do? We're gonna try to just use light color first. It just Get let go some of the color. Let's see how it look. Okay, going toward the direction. I want it a little more random. Let's take a look. Good enough to suggest texture moving. We have to do a little soften after. Okay, let's see. That a little bit. And the second, we're gonna have the other direction of texture. Very light colors, it's not so dark. Okay, here. If you want to control one arm, it's just using the other, the other hand to support it. this a little darker in the shadow side and on this side I have a little more yellow because this side is facing to the light source like 
that. And what we're going to do to make it more realistic, we want to also lift off some of the color to make it have a little feeling of indent. Like this. This is all about observation. Uh, you need to pay attention to it and find out what the solution would be. And on this side, actually, it's a little lighter because I have a reflected light. Okay, we're gonna make this a little bit lighter. A little bit lighter. It's not very, very light, but a little bit lighter. So you can see the difference. To see this whole thing is turning to the other side, right? From one side to the other side, like that. So you see the banana is just being step by step and became look more and more like real. So it's done.